sketch the graph of the given exponential functions. Write the equation for the graph's horizontal asymptote. Give the domain and range. All right, so we're given f of x is equal to 2 times 1.5 to the x plus 15. Now, if we forget about the plus 15, we already know a lot about this. We know that it, it would be above the x-axis. Right, so if we forget about the plus 15, this part tells us it's above the x-axis and increasing. And we could create a table of values for that. So let's create a table for the 2 times 1.5 to the x. And then once we figure that out, we'll just add 15 to all of the outputs. All right, so we have x versus 2 times 1.5 to the x. Let's start with a few uh, easier values, smaller values. So how about we let x equal 0, 1, and 2. All right, if x is 0, 1.5 to the 0 is 1, times 2 is 2. If x is 1, 1.5 to the first power is 1.5. 2 times 1.5 is 3. If x is 2, we have 2 times 1.5 to the second. Now I could probably do this one on paper, but I'm going to go ahead and use the calculator. 2 times 1.5 to the second power is 4.5. Now let's choose a couple of other values. How about we let x equal negative 1. Now if x is negative 1, we would have 2 times 1.5 to the negative first power. And that ends up being 1.33, 1.3 repeating. And how about a, a larger value for x? How about we let x equal, how about 5? Let's see what happens when x equals 5. So then I would have 2 times 1.5 uh, to the fifth power. That ends up being 15.1875. Now, let's remember that we need to add 15 to all of those values. And so I'll create, say, a third part of this column. And I'll call that our f of x column. And so 1.3 repeating plus 15, that would be 16.3 bar. 2 plus 15, that's 17. 3 plus 15 is 18. 4.5 plus 15 is 19. 0.5 and 15.1875 plus 15 is 30.1875 and I'll plot these points. Now based on maybe what we've seen before we should expect our horizontal asymptote to rise 15 units as well. So let me go ahead and put in my horizontal asymptote at y equals 15 so let's see if that's 25 so this mark would be 12.5, so 15 is going to be about here. So there's my horizontal asymptote at y equals 15. And now I'll plot some points. I've got negative 1, 16.3 bar. I've got 0, 17. I've got 3, uh, 1, 18. I've got 2, 19.5. And then I got 5, 30.1875. So that's going to be about here. Let's do one more point uh, to get some more, uh, to see what's going on with the scale. How about I let x equal uh, 10? And I'm just going to go straight to the, the entire function here. I'd have 2 times 1.5 to the 10th power. And then I would need to add 15. And that adds in being 130.33. So I'll plot this one more point here. 10, 130.33 roughly 
is about here. And so I see the exponential curve and it is increasing as expected. We're asked to write the equation for the graph's horizontal asymptote. I did that. That's y equals 15. That's the horizontal asymptote. And give the domain and range. Well, the domain appears to be all real numbers, or negative infinity to infinity. And the range, uh, the minimum value that we see for the function, it, it appears to be getting close to 15. And that's where that horizontal asymptote and it increases from there. It will never actually touch the value 15 though, so the range would be 15 comma infinity, so from 15 to positive infinity. All right. f of x is equal to negative 200 by 0.4 to the x, subtract 25. Now again, Let's kind of forget about the negative 25 for a moment. All right, let's forget about that and let's create a table for x versus negative 200 by 0.4 to the x. And so if we had 0, we'd have negative 200. We would have 1, negative 200 times 0.4 is 80, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check that. It's negative 80. If x was 2, we would have negative 200 times 0.4 to the second power. Negative 32. Right, if x was 3, negative 200 times 0.4 to the third, negative 12.8. One more, if x was 4, negative 5.12. And so these values are getting closer to 0. And let's do one more, how about a negative 1? negative 200 times 0.4 to the negative first power. So that's negative 500. Now, let's remember the minus 25. All right, so now let's subtract 25. So that's negative 525. negative 225, negative 105, negative 57, negative 37, no, negative 39.8. I didn't subtract 25, sorry about that. That should be a 37 point, negative 37.8. Negative 5.12 minus 25, negative 30.12. And so now let's plot those points. Negative 1, negative 525. 0, negative 225. 1, negative 105. 2, negative 57, 3, negative 37.5, 4, negative 30.12, and again what happens here is if we put in a larger number, let's put in a larger number here for, how about, uh, well let's just use 6, what happens if x is 6? For the entire function I'd have negative 200 by 0.4 to the sixth, and then I would subtract 25. And notice that that's pretty close to negative 25, negative 25.8, approximately. 
So I have 6, negative 25.8. All right, so notice if I draw a smooth curve, it's not approaching zero, but rather it's approaching that, what again we call a horizontal asymptote, and again it is at that value that's being added, well in this case subtracted from the exponential part. And so we have a horizontal asymptote, and in fact the horizontal asymptote is defined by y equals negative 25. And again, notice that that's related to that value that's being added, subtracted on the function. Domain is again all real numbers. Range, we would define the range in this case as y is less than negative 25. Notice how the asymptote and the range are related.